Okay, so I'm going to start this video off by saying that Apple does a super good job on OS X as far as the aesthetics and the way the desktop is set up and everything just right out of the box. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be changing is just a personal preference, but if you think it looks prettier how it was originally, I would completely accept that because like I said they do an amazing job also uh, fair warning I am gonna be using a lot of darker colors within my theme um, my reasoning for this is because it's easier on my eyes and I tend to use my computer a lot and late at night and I know there's um, a few other future uh, features that you can use to help with this but using darker colors probably helps the most and one last thing before we get started, um, I'm not using any third party software doing any of this. I know that you can, you know, customize all sorts of things using uh, third party software. A lot of it is paid, however, and I just try to keep uh, any extra stuff off of the hard drive if I can, you know, um, both for space and for, you know, try to keep things like uncluttered as possible. All right, so this is gonna be the first step. We're gonna change up our text size. So there's two ways to do this. Um, you're gonna be here, uh, it, by default, you should be set to default for display. Um, however, I went to scaled and I lowered my resolution. Now, I know that really sucks because you're losing pixels. However, um, your monitor should be about an arm's length away from you, uh, you know, to prevent like, straining your eyes etc um, however if you're trying to read really really small fonts that kind of contradicts itself right so in order to get bigger fonts I had to lower my resolution a notch I don't re recommend going all the way down to 720 because that it really really makes the display look horrendous um, however if you have a retina display you should have the option to increase your text size however this Mac is from late 2013, and I simply don't have that option because it's not a retina display. So I went ahead and lowered my resolution, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Okay, and the next step is to obviously change our background. Uh, you can access this through a few different ways. You can go to your system options through there, you can go to the Apple logo and go to system options through there, or you can just click, right click your desktop and change desktop background. Um, I chose this girl holding an AK-47 just because I think it looks cool, so I'm gonna go with that. Uh, you could always find an image off of Google and then I, I would recommend to you know find one that's at your resolution or maybe a little higher and it always looks a little better if it's scaled down for some reason maybe that's just me um, but yeah okay so it's starting to look a little different um, we do want to change our screensaver as well so just go to your little settings cog or again system preferences preferences through there um, and you can go to your desktop and screensaver go to screensaver and I chose the flurry effect just because I think it looks cool and then I checked this little box that says show with clock um, and then as far as your timer goes I set mine for five minutes uh, you can change or set yours to whatever you like and uh, one more thing after that I'd go to energy saver and here you can choose how long it takes before your monitor actually turns off so I set mine for 10 minutes. And then of course the dark theme has been uh, news for Apple since uh, Mojave came out. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and change mine to that. So again, system preferences and you go to general, you hit dark and it darkens everything up for you and it looks super cool. Um, from here you can change your accent color. So every time you change your accent color, it's also going to change your highlight color, but you can change your highlight color after to something else. So for my accent color, I think I'm going to go with orange. And then for my highlight color, I'm going to go with blue. And then 
so as far as the themes go I did want to show you guys one more little thing so if you go to your system settings and go to accessibility and click display you can actually reduce the transparency and it changes the colors um, within the menus and stuff like that I guess I'll leave mine like that for now um, if you're using the light colored theme it'll change your dock to a really white color um, so yeah here I'll just show you guys really quick since we're already here oh what am I doing okay so general go to light and then yeah so you see the dock it's it turned into a really white color so that that kind of changes things around a little bit too I just thought I'd mention it also going back to the accessibility settings um, while you're in there you can actually change the contrast of your screen I personally don't like to do that just because I, I like to see you know pictures and their true colors and stuff like that you can change the cursor size as well under the display settings we're still under the display settings by the way um, I do like my cursor to be a little bigger because I lose it all the time and then you can you know shake it to find it and it should turn bigger yeah there it goes um, but I just like it a little bigger at all times and um, another thing you can do is reduce motion and that takes away a lot of like uh, animations and stuff like that I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one on for myself so if you're like me and you decided to go with the dark theme um, there's a few websites that have like settings for dark themes um, Gmail does I'm not gonna show you guys my email so I'm not gonna go there um, YouTube does as well so we'll go there and uh, if you go to your little picture up in the uh, right top corner you have an option for dark theme on and you just go ahead and toggle that over and now you've got a super dark theme another place where you can set a dark theme is on Google Chrome however I use Safari so I'm not gonna do that and the apps and stuff within the operating system are gonna change to dark themes as well like uh, your stocks and stuff like that however um, trading view is probably the best um, charting site there is so there is a setting in here where you can change everything to dark as well and uh, here we'll look up Tesla so we go to the stock and then you go to your full featured chart and then from there you click this little cloud in the left top corner and click dark color theme and yeah it makes everything nice and dark so it looks pretty good one more quick little tip if you go to your settings and go to your displays uh, you can have a night shift mode on and what that does is it kind of you know tints your screen into this like yellow color uh, which helps with your eyesight at night and stuff like that so you just uh, schedule it however you want and I've got mine from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, that way I'm not over here straining my eyes for no good reason okay so the next thing we're gonna modify a little bit is our finder that's our little smiley guy here um, that basically finds all of our files and stuff like that right so there's a couple of things that we're gonna to want to change so going back to your little settings cog um, you can go to general and I'm not sure why it's here and not somewhere else but if you go to the sidebar icon size you can make that medium small yours is probably set to small by default I like mine set at large so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that there so another thing we're gonna to want to do is go to finder and then preferences and from there you'll have your general settings I set mine like this uh, the new finder window shows recent so I like that it does that for me so whatever you know files I had just been using and stuff like that it pulls them up automatically you have tags I personally don't use any um, and then your you know the items that it's gonna show here on the side you can choose all of them through here so you can add downloads documents etc etc actually I'll add downloads to mine and um, no I won't and uh, iCloud etc etc so you get the gist of it 
and uh, I would really really recommend though to add the the home folder so with your name on it because that can get pretty annoying not to be able to access that right off the bat so yeah and then another thing you can do is just drag and move things around okay and we're not quite done with the finder just yet um, one more thing you can do is if you go to view you're gonna be able to change you know what you look at stuff uh, you can also change it through there um, and then you can hide the sidebar personally I don't like the idea of that so we're gonna go back to show it um, I also like to show a preview on the side so if I click on anything it will do that for us and I like to show the status bar down here at the bottom so if you click on anything it'll tell you what it is and you can show the path bar as well that way you know around where you're sitting at and I like that on as well okay now we're gonna start messing with the dock but since we've already got the finder open a uh, quick little tip you can just drag and drop stuff to your dock so if I remove this from the dock you can just take your home folder drag it right on over it'll stay there and now you've got access to all your files from your dock which is quite nice since we're on the subject of the dock here at the bottom go ahead and click your little settings cog and then go to dock and then from there you can change the size of it you can also change the size of the dock through here um, however you want to do it so I'm gonna set mine to about that and then of course you have magnification you can turn that off through there I do like to have it on um, maybe I'll set it to that just a little bit and then you can change the position of it I personally like it at the bottom but you know to each their own and then for the minimizing effect so this is for that you can change it to the scale effect or the genie effect and I personally like the scale effect just because it's a little quicker it feels like I'm not sure somebody will have to uh, double check me on that and then there's a setting within here that says oh so when you double click um, a window what it'll let you do is you know it kind of full screens it for you without well not full screens it but it fills up the screen without covering your dock and uh, this bar up here um, and then it's you can show the indicators here at the bottom you see those I quite like those so I'm gonna keep those on and then you can show the recent applications in the dock by default is set to on but I turned mine off also, of course, you're going to want to organize your dock, you know, remove any apps that you don't want on there. And then to move stuff around, you simply grab it and drag it. Also, if you right click, you can go to your options and remove from the dock or, you know, keep it in there if it's your program's open and it's not staying in the dock. Another thing we can do is change the color of our terminal. If you don't know where your terminal is, just go to your applications and uh, go to your other folder and it's going to be right up in there so the terminal is really cool in here because you can basically change it to whatever um, so make sure you click the window itself uh, we don't want to make it huge like that go to shell and then go to edit background color so you can change the title of it and stuff like that I'm going to change the opacity to about 50% and I am going to change the saturation and the hue to actually I'm going to keep the hue there and then I'm going to bring down the brightness quite a bit I think yeah so maybe I'll give it like a little red tint kind of yeah so you can play around with it and do whatever you like of course so you can exit those and in order to keep your settings you have to click use settings as default okay so you go to shell use settings as default that way the next time you open it up it comes up like that because if you don't it will just revert to the original theme that it had on there so I'm gonna click that and now if I exit it out I go back to it it opens up 
just like that and it looks super cool also this little um, bar here you can change it through the pref uh, preferences so you go to terminal preferences and it's gonna have a little option oh here so the cursor so from you know out of the box it comes with a block I personally like to underline a little bit better so I went with that a few other little settings that you can change um, this isn't really a theme setting but it does help me personally so if you go to youtube.com for example and you scroll on the side here if you click it'll typically just scroll like slowly but I like it to just land exactly wherever I clicked so what you do to get there is you go to your settings cog and go to general and then it says click in the scroll bar to and then jump to next page or jump to the spot that's clicked I'm gonna click jump to the spot that's clicked and now when we go back to YouTube it's gonna automatically go all the way down or wherever you clicked you know so that's kinda nice to have also since we're on the subject of scrolling um, one thing you can change around as well is if you go to your settings you go to mouse um, you can take the scroll direction it's set to natural by default so when you scroll up on your mouse the monitor goes down however I've been a lifelong PC user so I went ahead and turned that off so when I scroll downwards the screen goes down also you can change your scrolling speed from here I'm not sure what it's left um, what it comes with at default but I have mine there a feature I really like to have too is my um, little sound icon there so I can you know manipulate wherever the sound is I know people have keyboard shortcuts to all of this but I personally I personally like having it on the desktop so just go to your settings if you go to, to sound you can click on I'm pretty sure on any of these yeah and show volume in the menu bar just go ahead and tick that if you want it you know I also like having the uh, seconds up here on the time and date so same thing go to your settings cog and I'm sorry if this is getting super repetitive um, and then you go to your date and time and you can even change it to analog personally I like mine at digital just so I can you know figure out exactly what time it is and you can also display the time with seconds and I quite like that feature as well back to the settings menu another thing you can do is change your sounds you'll have a few sound effects to choose from um, I personally like the uh, hero one so I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine there another thing is is when you're logged out of the computer it'll still show your notifications on the top right corner um, you may or may want not want that on if you want to turn them off however so you go to your system options or preferences and go to your notifications setting and then from here you'll have to do all of these individually but you just go to books calendar make sure that show notifications on lock screen is off and I did turn mine all off oh looks like I didn't <laughs> so yeah the last thing is I've noticed people on Mac are crazy about shortcuts however I am personally not at the moment maybe I will adapt um, I do like the hot, uh, hot corners however so you know being able to go to my apps like that or pulling out the sidebar like that and uh, you know looking through my windows like that so the way you do that is you go to your system settings and then you go to mission control and then hot corners and you can set them to whatever you like that's what I have mine set to and you can play with that a little bit so yeah so yeah like I said um, from the beginning OS X and Apple they do a super good job of setting up a nice desktop um, from the you know out of the box this is what we ended up with I will probably change it around quite a bit um, just you know to see what it is that I really like but I just wanted to show off some of the things that you can customize on here uh, thanks for watching